Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, uh, thank you very much uh, to the organizer for inviting me to share some quick uh, thoughts on the French case from some of the topics discussed uh, in this very interesting presentation and debates this afternoon. Um, in France, uh, compared to Portugal, the risk of forest fire may be considered uh, low or moderate. It is concentrated in the southern part of the country, in the Mediterranean regions and in the southwest, where the risk concerns above all the land de Gascogne, which is an artificial forest composed mainly of uh, maritime pines. In both cases, the fires are mainly linked to human activities, but the territorial context is very different. In the Mediterranean area, uh, the main problem is uh, the multiplication of interfaces between urbanized and natural areas due to a uh, long-standing rural abandonment combined with a spectacular urban sprawl. Um, in the southwest, uh, we have a very highly flammable uh, but uh, intensively exploited forest. Since uh, dramatic fires in, the 19, in 1949, a very efficient prevention system has been put in place. Um, it is based on forest management and the development of uh, fire prevention measures financed by the owners. Uh, Currently, uh, the, risk, the risk is quite uh, controlled, and despite a very high number of fire outbreaks, uh, the burn surfaces remain uh, limited. But the system is based on the economic uh, profitability of forestry, and uh, it can be threatened by many risks. Some of them, uh, such as storms or pests, can be linked to climate change but other ones, uh, such as uh, landscape uh, fragmentation, are, due to, are mostly due to urbanization. And uh, in uh, recent years, the progression of uh, peri-urbanization has shown uh, worrying trends, while the consequences of this uh, evolution are less well understood and addressed than in, than, uh, in the southeast, where the phenomenon is older. At the national level, it is expected that climate change will worsen the situation and we are, we are already facing a geographical evolution uh, with new areas that are becoming sensitive to fires, either uh, towards the north or towards uh, mountains, as in the Pyrenees. In um, addition to forest fires, we also observe the development of crop fires outside the usually fire-prone areas. Um, in rural dynamic areas, the main challenge is to control urbanization and to understand the relationship between fire and environmental and peri-urban changes. But in demographically and economically uh, fragile areas, such as mountains, one of the difficulties of fire management is the lack of income for forest and private owners. Um, another major problem is that the actors are not used to dealing with fires. There is both a need to increase knowledge and promote uh, public awareness, but also to create uh, new collaborations and working habits between actors and services that are not used to working together, such as farmers and firefighters, for example. So uh, coordination is a major issue. Um, the, the risk management system in place uh, in France is considered uh, effective. It relies mainly on forest monitoring and rapid and massive intervention of firemen. Since uh, the heat wave of uh, 2003, awareness raising measures and fuel control have been uh, developed, especially in the Mediterranean area. However, uh, this um, extinction efficiency is incredibly, increasingly expensive and does not guarantee the absence of disasters. 
the paradox is that this uh, effectiveness of fire suppression actions makes it more difficult to integrate the problem of fires into planning policies. The economic costs are hidden because they are not linked to spectacular disasters. This favors uh, short-term approaches to the detriment of long-term thinking and uh, serious actions uh, against uh, fire causes. Also, this increases uh, territorial vulnerability because the capacity of non-forestry actors to cope with fire is very limited. Um, another issue that needs to be addressed in the French context, uh, specifically in the Pyrenees, is how to adapt agricultural practices, in particular the use of burnings to compensate land abandonment, while uh, climate change makes these practices more risky and it increases the risk of forest fires. In the Pyrenees, it is a growing problem with the poorly controlled, controlled burnings. In um, recent decades, it became a major public safety problem too, uh, with the increasing development of tourism and hiking. Uh, in 2000, five uh, hikers were surprised by uh, burning and killed. So a system of uh, regulation was put in place at the local level to announce and secure burning areas. These measures have improved the situation, but in recent years, we observed that the effect of climate change make these burnings more and more difficult to control, and that some of them um, turn into forest fires. So in addition to damage to ecosystems, these fires pose a more general problem because uh, they threaten forests which have often uh, a protective role against erosion, landslides and avalanches. Even if these fires are not very large, they can be linked to an aggravation of other hazards. This underlines the cascading effects in the given area. It also confirms the importance of uh, analysis to aggregate hazard patterns in order to gain a better understanding of territorial vulnerabilities. And this works has also to be done at a very local level. It also underlines the need to give priority to territorial approaches of our purely sectoral ones. Um, in the southern western, uh, in the southwestern French area, I study. I um, also I observed observed that there is still insufficient understanding of the multiple relationships between climate change and territorial issues, particularly among ele elected officials who have major role to play in local policies. For example, um, we carried out a survey among official elected. Um, and they responded that climate change and forest fire are not an urgent problem um, because they have to face um, economic and demographic decline, which are more urgent to them. And they are not um, totally aware of the links between the two uh, well, problems, of course. Others, especially in the land forest, consider that fire are less a problem than others emerging hazard links linked to climate change, such as uh, marine submersion of or pests, because uh, they find them more frightening because they are less familiar, and they rely on the uh, on the efficiency of fire firefighters. These uh, statements are based on a false sense of security. Perceptions are distorted by both by um, the apparent effectiveness of uh, control measures of fire and by the gradual nature of the impact of climate change on ecosystems, uh, which is less spectacular than the rise of sea level, for example. Uh, this highlights the need of awareness improvement, I, um, and I fully agree with the idea that uh, knowledge of territorial vulnerabil vulnerability patterns is crucial for proper risk um, management. 
in this area, one of the challenge is also to support uh, rural areas in financial resources, of course, but also in human resources and expertise. In France, um, the last decades have resulted in um, decentralization and the decline in public services for reasons of economy, which is a big problem for rural areas because the state was in charge of risk management and uh, territorial engineering. In the two mountainous areas in the Pyrenees where I, where I work, we can clearly see that the small municipalities lack of expertise to fight against economic decline and manage issues related to climate change. In similar situations, uh, we see, for example, that the Basque mountain has more assets than the other valleys because they are integrated into a large Basque country community with rich and dynamic coastal cities that allows mountain territories to benefit from territorial, ter, ter, territorial uh, solidarity and significant resources of expertise. Um, I think that the presentation also underlined the need for reflection of on a common vision of rural territories, ecosystem, landscapes and their values. In France, uh, there are also several opposing visions of rural areas, particularly, particularly uh, mountain areas. Basically, uh, one vision favors the control of natural dynamics thanks to the maintenance of agriculture and forestry. But there, are, but there is also a vision more oriented towards a re natural naturalization of these areas supported by environmentalist movements and also supported by a certain local player of the tourist economy. In some part of the Pyrenees, this leads to very conflictual situation about land management, uh, for example, um, on the reintroduction of large predators. It has necessarily a very strong implication for long term evolutions of landscape and risk management. Um, in conclusion, one idea that I have retained is that uh, resilience requires adapt adaptation measures, but also anticipation. So we do not only carry out cur curative policies in reaction to the local impact of changes and disasters, but we also are able to plan ahead and anticipate the change for a better future. Thank you for, for your attention.